Hey, Ruben, how are you? Fine, great. Um, I've been reading that you worked with Jennifer Lopez uh, before, and it was a, a spread of seven years. Okay. How, how how was that? How was seeing her again and uh, working in a, in a different, I don't know, atmosphere? Because now you're acting in, yeah. in, in this meta, meta documentary. Yeah, so um, thank you for having me. First and foremost, it's nice to meet you. Um, that seven years is actually the time that we had not worked together, but I have been dancing for Jennifer off and on for 22 years. Uh, I worked with her on her Puerto Rico special in 2001. Her very first concert was my very first concert as a backup dancer. Um, and yeah, we've, you know, toured the world together. I did her Dance Again world tour. Um, but when she started Vegas, I kind of branched off and started doing other things. So there was a seven year gap that we hadn't worked together. And then this audition comes up as an actor. Um, and I, I've acted, you know, through the years, my very first acting job was, I don't know if you remember Stomp the Yard. Uh, I yeah. killed Chris Brown yeah. at the beginning of Stomp the Yard. So I've always entertained like <laughs> acting projects and I'm so glad that I have because it allowed this audition to come through. And and when I, when I, when I first read it, I was like, wow, here's an opportunity to really um, take everything that you've experienced living this life next to Jennifer, you know, because I've, I've, I've been with her through some of these tough moments in relationships and stuff like that. And then we always, as performers do, we just channel it into great performances. The world is never going to see what we're going through in our personal lives because the show must go on in a sense, you know, but now with this, with this, um, with this project, with this rebound music video, we get to really tell the world a little bit of what she's going through or what she was going through at that time, or, a, a, you know, a combination of all of things that she's gone through. So it was really important for me to really like uh, hone in and, 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 and try to first land the role. Um, and then once I landed the role, uh, diving in with Jennifer and her acting coach and uh, giving her exactly what she needed to tell this story was really important for me. So yeah, it was just an awesome experience. I'm extremely thankful. Me as an audience, I've been following Jennifer's career since the beginning, since even before Selena. And, and I'm curious because I only see the result. I only see what is showing to the audience. How's her on her mindset in, in terms to create things? You've been with her over 20 years. How's that mindset that she has that, that she brings creativity to dancing, to singing, to acting? Yeah. How is she in that sense? I think, I think Jennifer is... Um... The epitome of most dancer performers, like we are perfectionists. We're going to give the world, you know, the perfect or the most perfect product as possible. And so I've always known that she um, she's careful about every formation. You can be out of a formation, out of a window, out of a, off of a step, off of a timing. I've always known that ever since 2001, when I first stepped in the room with her, and it was extremely intimidating, but coming from, you know, uh, coming from a tough parent who raised with a, uh, with very a stern approach, I was used to it. It was actually exciting. And now fast forward, it's made me a really strong performer because of having the school of Jennifer Lopez right out the gate, you know, and it hasn't changed. There was a little bit of a difference that I noticed coming onto this project. There was a little bit more calm and peace to her. You know, I think, uh, uh, maybe being in a really good place with her relationship is a part of it. Maybe just being a lot more mature and knowing exactly um, what is necessary. I don't know what it is, but there was this like, okay, it's kind of calm here for a Jennifer Lopez room, but it was also balanced out with this same attack of a performer. This this performance is really special because you have a bonding like with her, and and, and it's very it's very physical. Yeah. Did you have any help, like a coach to, to guide you, an acting coach? Because I know for the for actors, it's very different when you have to perform like a drama and yeah. only use your voice. But here you have to use your voice, your body, and your skills as a, as a dancer. How different was for you doing doing this part? In the, in, 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 it, was, in it was difficult. It was difficult. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you bring that up. I've never been tied to another person trying to achieve choreography. Um, incredible choreography done by uh, Paris, Go I, I don't want to mispronounce her name, Goebel, um, and then Sienna Lalao. Um, they both helped us incredibly master that, that, that connection uh, with the rope being attached, but it was difficult. And then doing that with Jennifer Lopez, like, you're like, I don't want to break the porcelain doll. Like, I, I, like, I can't push so hard, but she was, 
Jennifer was all in, you know, like she, you know, there was a couple of falls and there was a couple of crashes with each other. There was one moment when we were shooting where the belt, her belt popped off and hit me in parts. It shouldn't have hit me. So there was some accidents, you know what I mean? But, uh, but there was no, um, there was no slowing down. I think there was, there was a message to be delivered that I think was driving us through the entire time. And the choreography was just so great. It was, you know, whenever, Whenever a dancer has great choreography to fall into and to be led from, it makes our job a lot easier. Um, not easier, but it just it, it gives us what we need. And and just, you know, performing with Jennifer Lopez in anything, you know, you're it, there's there's no way out except for batting at a thousand, you know. So it was difficult, but but it was a great experience. Yeah, but congratulations, because your Thank performance you. is the first one who open, uh, you know, the, the whole documentary. And I think it's a really good spot for what's next. And I think you did it great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Have a great day, man. Okay, you too. You too.